डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग चैप्टर नंबर वन द पीरियड ऑफ ट्रांजिशन आई हैव इशूड आई हैव पब्लिश एंड टुडे आई एल टीच यू इंडस्ट्रियल रिवोल्यूशन एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लिटिल बिट टू इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैव गिवन दिस वन इन प्लेस ऑफ हैंड मेड टूल्स मशीन्स हैज बीन यूज एंड आफ्टर दैट ड्रास्टिक चेंज टेक इन प्लेस मेनी फैक्ट्री फ्लोरिस्ड मेनी अर्बन एरिया केम टू एग्जिस्टेंस एंड डे बाई डे प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीज नाउ मीन्स ड्रास्टिक चेंज टेक इन प्लेस एंड आफ्टर दैट इंडियन इकॉनमी फ्लोरिस्ड वेन डे बाई डे इंडस्ट्रियल रिवल्यूशन फ्लोरिस्ड सो मोर फैक्ट्री इस्टेब्लिश after that what happened two things required first one raw material and second one market now going to teach you what are the reason that led to the industrial revolution in england first point i would like to teach you earlier dispute came between monarchy and parliament in england and after that the struggle started ki monarchy will be supreme or parliament will be supreme and 16th century means near about second half of century, uh, century, uh, 16th century what happened power transferred from monarchy to parliament so definitely when parliament will be empowered so parliamentary parliament parliamentary will be elected by the common people so common they made policy better policy for the common people and basically in england maximum people were involved in trade and commerce so parliament made a policy that boost up the industrial revolution point number 1 clear now after that what happened several new machines came to existence new machines has been invented had been invented and by by the use of those machines drastic change taken place in factory many businessmen came to existence those businessmen invested money in that sector so many scientists started their experimentation observation and finally okay high quality machine they had made so first one to the, those machines they using they used in factory second one some machines they made they invented for agriculture also means cultivation and production means that will be used in agriculture sector so when machines had been used in agriculture sector so in place of five laborers 50 labor one machine is sufficient so many laborer of britain lost their job and they migrated for the job to urban bodies and after that urbanization taken place and many new cities came to existence okay and urbanization taken place and and lot of opportunity given by industry to common people next one the new factories and industries that were coming up required and abundant supply of the cheap labor this was provided by agriculture workers who had migrated to city and town in the search of job so these are main points one more point is there ki british parliament made one law ki if any any person having land property so boundary wall is required so it will be very costly so many farmers sold their land because his small small lands were there small area over there and they left that uh, means they left their profession means they were they are not now um, not now farmers and they went to urban area for better job this is this was one more reason that boost up the industrial revolution now some inventions taken place i would like to mention the name john k invented flying shuttle james hargibbs spinning jenny and james watt steam engine you know this one and 
Samuel Crompton, the spinning moon. So these are inventions. You should know this one. And after that, drastic change taken place. And I am going to teach you now. Next point: the impact of the industrial revolution. Just I have taught also the growth of industrial industries industrial center. I think you know. Industrialization led to the an increasing demand for the raw material such as iron and coal. These were rapidly available in area like northern England, which soon became the center for of industries like mining, spinning, weaving, pottery, and ship building, etc. Growth of colonialism, meaning. how raw material will be will be achieved will be taken so it was very necessary to occupy other country so now a new era started the age of colonialism or imperialism meaning to occupy other country and to and utilize the resources of that country for the welfare of own country the industrial revolution led to the search for overseas colonies as a source of cheap raw material and market i think america was the colony of britain uh, i i think you know this one and in england uh, india was also the colony of britain before 1947 i think my words are knowing growth of efficient means of transportation i think you know it is very necessary if you are a industrialist so production will be there so production means uh, for raw material transportation required for selling also transportation required okay so i think you know necessity is the mother of invention after that transportation system also developed urbanization you know this one what is urbanization Mean means movement of the people from rural area to urban area for the better job better facility that is known as urbanization and many urban cities came to existence now capitalism the industrial revolution created two classes in the society industrialist who own the factories and tools and the other were other group was there workers who were completely depend on the industrialist this was the beginning of the capitalism a system where the means of the production like land mines factories were owned privately by the in, in, individual means there will be no any uh, interference of anyone and factory owner will decide how much salary will be given how much uh, time period means uh, uh, means working hour will be how much everything will be de uh, decided and how much wages will be given given uh, all given to free hand and basically he, basically the capitalism flourished because of one philosophy one theory i would like to mention here and adam smith stated the wealth of nation and it is laissez faire theory laissez faire theory means government should not interfere in the factory system means let them free and after that drastic change taken place in england and other country and industrial industrialization taken place now one more point is there in your book the impact of the industrial revolution before the industrial revolution india was one of the most economically advanced country in the world it textile handicraft handicraft were sorry his its text textile means means cotton in industries and handicraft were world famous however after the after it became the colony of britain in the 19th century the industries were destroyed by one way free trade policy i have taught you under british rule and india was forced to export agriculture raw material and import british made material factory made material now two more points given in your book the american revolution and french revolution american revolution started against the colonial policy of the british government and finally what happened american people started revolution against the britishers and finally america became a republic country and american slogan was there no taxation without re representation next period i'll uh, sorry next uh, chapter is there in that one i'll explain in detail and french revolution also a kind of revolution started against monarchy by french people and france also became a democratic country 
now next topic is there nationalism nationalism is a feeling love for own nation own country own army and feeling of oneness came to existence and after that many many nations came to existence and by and when nationalism is spread far and wide so today only this much and next day i'll come with another video thank you some uh, vital words are there i would like that my words should uh, revise this one like autocracy urbanization imperialism nationalism and liberty equality fraternity i have to, I, i have told you the slogan of american revolution no taxation without representation and slogan of french revolution equality liberty fraternity okay so dear student i am going to conclude my lecture and next day i will come with another video thank you